What's going on guys? Coming down to do some evening chores and we also got something in the mail today. We have our comfrey cuttings. So we are going to weed this bed just a little bit here and get these guys in the ground. Also just had a super cool experience. Uh, right here over my right, or yeah, my right shoulder, uh, we had a our owl swoop down over the house and land down there and we have to come outside and sit there and watch it for a few minutes uh i got the video on my phone but i'll throw it in the video here right now Well, now that you got to enjoy that, super cool that that happened. I hear it almost every evening while I'm out doing my chores. There's a few around here. Sometimes they're just all three or maybe even four of them just, you know, calling back and forth at each other. Super exciting. Our chicks are getting out more and more, starting to get big. We're gonna take these food scraps up here to the chickens and pile up our compost pile real quick. And then uh, we'll get back to the comfrey. So the compost is piled up there and uh, just when I thought I was starting to get enough material uh, to actually start like hot composting, uh, I was wrong. I mean it is, it's starting to, you know, get into the hot compost. Uh, I got a thermometer over there for it and uh, I've been coming back down and piling it up again at night because uh, they, they don't get... Uh, enough time to really get after it and in the mornings it is starting to get up to temp but uh these chickens love this thing <laughs> and uh if this was in the morning you know say 6 30 ish when i'm doing my chores i guarantee you by nine o'clock it is already just completely flattened out so i think it'll do really good this system will do really well once i have at least the very minimum tripled this pile and then I'll have enough material to start actually letting it flow and pile it up again down there. And then, of course, once I have the little uh, greenhouse where I'll finish it off, I can keep it into piles better in that. And it can really do its cycle. But the chickens love it. And with any luck, maybe it won't be flat before I go in. <laughs> Let's go plant some comfrey. All right, on to the comfrey. I just did a little weeding over this and took it into the compost pile. And then I went over it with a hoe and kind of broke it up a little bit more. This stuff is some super good stuff. Super, super good stuff. Really light, not compacted at all. Uh, it was nothing but uh, wood chips that I had dropped way up at the front of the driveway and I never got around to it. And it just broke down all on its own over about a year, maybe a year and a half. So, some really good stuff. Here's our cuttings. You got a few chunks like this. A few smaller ones threw in. So I ordered 12 and I ended up getting 17. So we we're going to throw these guys in here and uh, give them a good watering. This stuff, it should do really good in here. Um, I know this stuff holds water so nice. Uh, not too much water because obviously it's a raised bed too so it, it drains but I know when I dump like a bucket from like the chicken coop or if I dump out the uh, bowls from the rabbits I mean you can just see where it has its wet spot for I mean a matter of like three or four days so super nice um, we're gonna get these planted and uh, yeah let's get to it 
All right, guys. Got my little sticks here for markers. Probably not gonna be able to see that very well, but we got two rows of eight, starting from the bottom. And then we got a little extra uh, bonus right here. So I probably don't need to worry about watering them because it's due to rain over the next couple of days, but we're gonna throw a little bit on here. And uh, yeah, super excited to have the comfrey in the ground finally. Uh, I know they, it should probably be at least a minimum of 60 days or so before we see any growth on top. Um, and as far as, uh, so maybe by fall, you know, by fall we should be starting to get to pick some and give to the rabbits. And then hopefully, I'm not sure, this is the first time I've ever grown comfrey. Um, I'm hoping, well, I'm not sure uh, how fast the root of it actually grows. So I'm not quite sure when we'll be able to start uh, duplicating these. But as soon as we get roots extending and growing, that is all it takes for comfrey, uh, for this um, version of comfrey. Uh, you just snap the root into, you know, if it's a bigger root, diameter wise, you can just have little half inch pieces. If it's smaller, you want it to be four or five inches, uh, like pencil size. So uh, this is the uh, Bakking 14. It's a Russian variety and um, like I said I've never grown any comfrey but comfrey is known for sending out little um, shoots and really kind of uh, duplicating itself on its own very rapidly so if you get it somewhere where you don't want it it can be a pain to get rid of it but this one will only um, grow where you put it so uh, it's not going to start climbing up through my bed you know, or if I plant it, you know, uh, buy some flowers, uh, it's not going to just start traveling through and taking over. It's only going to grow where you plant uh, a root cutting of it. So that's why I wanted this specific variety. Uh, I don't like things that just take off, but yeah, super excited about it. They are all in the ground and hopefully by the end of the year, we will be giving some to our rabbits. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you guys in the next one.